Welcome back to Manic Mods, YouTube's home of misfit modifications and mayhem. No, that's not it. You know what really grinds my gears? When a home automation company creates a universe remote that promises matter integration to Alexa, Google, and smart things when it only works with Apple HomeKit. What do I gotta do to matter to you? <clears throat> Today I'll deliver an update on SwitchBot's matter integration for their universal remote. I'll share tips and tricks before failing miserably over and over. Why produce a video? For consumers that aren't using HomeKit. They're off enjoying their bougie matter buttons and blue bubbles and you're stuck here with me. I won't waste your time. You can expect demos of each matter integration, which can help validate or improve your experience. I'll share what SwitchBot support had to say about all this and which assistant gets the closest to glory. Oh, and this also helps me iterate through content like I did with this remote controls battery test. I always want to do these ginormous reviews and they just kind of crush me as a new creator. Uh, with that said, if you have any comments or questions for my review, leave them below. So I'm tuned in. All right, enough with the corny jokes. Let's get to it. I'll start today's demo with a quick Matter integration into Alexa. Within SwitchBot's app, I'll go into Hub Settings, then Matter to copy the pairing code. After, I'll head into Alexa's app to add a device specifying other type than Matter. Make sure your mobile device and Alexa are on the same Wi-Fi network and reset your SwitchBot hub. My hub too is reset by holding both buttons for 15 seconds. After reset, I pasted the setup code to complete the Matter integration into Alexa. After the hub is integrated, we'll want to share the universal remote with SwitchBot's Matter setup. Here we add a secondary device. These devices will be shared and accessible with your smart home. I've used this reliably for local control with the exception of this remote. When I add my remote as a secondary device and go back to Alexa, she automatically connects to it. One of the remaining steps here is to program the buttons within Alexa. If you open the device page, you can see it's connected to my SwitchBot hub and I can create a new button action. You'll first notice the process is clumsy because you have to select the SwitchBot remote to specify the button. Then you'll notice we only have one button to automate. I'll take what I can get, so I set up a routine around a main button. After this setup, we should be able to go back into SwitchBot's remote settings and add a third-party control device, but Matter is not present. By the way, these tests are repeatable. I have two SwitchBot remotes, two SwitchBot hubs, the Hub Mini and the Hub 2, as well as a development environment inside my smart home. I'm going to keep trying here until successful or I lose my fucking mind trying. <laughs> One more thing before we move on. As best as I can tell, this setup button is intended as a convenient link to your smart home app to configure those four buttons. But it's neither convenient or logical since it opens Google Home. I didn't manage the initial connection with Google, but a chat with customer support says that button is not required in Matter Setup. We will continue our test by sharing SwitchBot's Matter Hub from Alexa. We can see the remote is connected to that hub, which will be shared with it. If we go into other assistants and apps, we can copy a new pairing code from Alexa for further integrations. And after pasting that setup code into Google Home, Google will connect to it and generate Matter credentials. After, you can expect the hub and switch. The switch is not configurable and this integration yields no improvement in SwitchBot's app when adding the third-party control to the remote. We're gonna step through two more tests that illustrate the current state of Matter integrations. I've saved the best for last and appreciate you sticking around. As a reminder, Alexa enabled the primary Matter connection here so we can go into its SwitchBot hub device and see the other assistants and apps that it's shared to. We'll add another connection and copy a new Matter code before pasting that in Hubitat's Matter setup page. Hubitat is able to connect to the hub and my remote, which displays four buttons that once configured, we head back to SwitchBot's app with. And as a prelude to my review, I'll mention it's normal to take an entire minute to connect to the remote. All right, once it's connected, we can still see no change in third-party control. I wish I could have showed you those four buttons in Hubitat, but I will show them to you in SmartThings. Nobody uses Hubitat anyway, but if you're looking for a good common ground between SmartThings and Home Assistant, I cannot further recommend it. I can further recommend it. I further recommend, I recommend it. All right, I've saved the best for last since SmartThings does seem to be the closest to a full integration. Like Alexa, HomeKit, and Home Assistant, SmartThings is capable of the primary matter connection involving Wi-Fi. For today's testing, I will be adding it via Alexa, like the other assistants. I'll copy a new device code and navigate back to the SmartThings app. When I add a partner device, I will select Matter, and SmartThings will connect and register the Matter devices. After connection, things look more promising than ever. I can see the matter bridge and respective buttons organized underneath. If I select each button, it downloads the driver for them. I've never been sure if I create an automation around the single buttons or multi-button remote, so I like to mix it up. First, I will add automation to one of the single buttons before going back into SwitchBot's app remote page. As always, I'm looking for matter under the third-party integrations and leave empty-handed. 
I almost forgot to show you the SmartThings Multi button. This device driver is automatically downloaded and has been available for about a month without further development. It's got four buttons that I will map additional routines around. Once I have some routines saved, I go back to SwitchBot's app to evaluate third-party devices like I always do, and despite SmartThings button success, Matter is still not an option. I believe this is as far as anyone can get without HomeKit or Home Assistant, and if you're like me, neither is a solution. I'm going to show you one more thing smart things can do that Alexa cannot before we wrap up. Within Samsung's ecosystem, I can share the Matter device like Alexa can. What's neat here is that smart things is a secondary connection but can still report on all my connected services. In my test, I've been including a final attempt to share this button from SmartThings back to SwitchBot. While this is an entirely rogue test, the results can't rule out that this may become a requirement as well. But when I share back to SwitchBot from SmartThings, I receive this generic error every time. And exploring this error on multiple devices, it relates to the mobile's Bluetooth settings and cannot be suppressed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't leave me. You always leave before I'm going to say something important. This video was created for you, the consumer. I can bumble on my own test, but I'd rather share it with the world. I'm personally invested in this because I'm sick of being lied to as a consumer. It's unacceptable that SwitchBot's product page suggests some victory while their support team confirms these devices are not compatible. So if you got something out of this, please do me two favors. One, give this video a thumbs up. There are too many fake reviews that focus on a sale rather than actual substance and substantial material. Two, please let me know if you got any further. I will never claim I have all the answers and often I'm just as stuck as you. So if you have any tips on any of these integrations or my delivery here, I'm all ears. I appreciate every single one of you sticking around and look forward to reporting back. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you around.